What's up, y'all? We back. <laughs> Chapter 27, Darren. Y'all. Mama. They got us, y'all. Look at my mama. Oh, my God. I'm in my cheerlead uniform. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this is the end for me. Hello? Darren says, so glad you're awake to join us. Look at my mama. He says, shut up, old hag. Don't talk to her like that. Don't oh my god, he slapped her. Don't talk to her like that. And he said, I'm sorry, what was that? I said, don't you dare touch my mom again, you effing bastard. Period. Period. He said, mmm, feisty. That's good. I'm gonna enjoy playing with you. I suddenly realized I was wearing my cheerleading outfit. He stripped my clothes, put this on me while I was unconscious. I felt like vomiting. You're not going to get away with this. He said, why? Because the police aren't watching me? If you mean that pathetic guy that they stationed outside my house. Look at this man, y'all. <laughs> he fell asleep in his car. He certainly didn't notice me leaving by the back door. Let my mama go. You could do whatever you want with me. He said, silly girl, I can't let her go. But I do whatever I want with you, all right. I said, I knew it was you. He said, yeah, I kind of figured that out by the way you and your friend were glaring at me in class. <laughs> but do tell, what gave it away? I said, you tried to frame James. It was you who planted Jazz's hairs in his car. That day when you came up on us outside of school. He said, oh, you figured that out, did you? Guilty as charged. I said, but why'd you do it? Why'd you kill all of them? Y'all, my hands are above my chest. Like, I can I not get free? <laughs> he said, are we really gonna do the whole serial killer confession thing now? That's so cliche. Why does everyone who's about to die always want to know why? It's so boring. Fine, we got the whole night to play anyway. I said, I don't understand. You are a teacher. He said, I always hated you little sluts. Oh, my God. Prancing around in your cheerleading uniforms. Your little short skirts hiked up, teasing all the boys. You act like you're too good for anybody, but y'all just little sluts. Okay, you got some issues, bro. Look at my hands, y'all. It was why I got this job as a teacher in a high school. I said, but if you hated cheerleaders so much, why didn't you just stay far away from us? He said, because somebody had to do something about y'all B-words. I've been watching y'all for a long time making my plans. You were actually going to be the first one. The first one? What you mean? Look at my hands, y'all. <laughs> but then, somebody posted an ad on Creeps List offering to pay cash for you to be taken out. Taken out? And he said, oh yeah, this woman wanted you dead so badly she posted a hit on you. Who? He said she hated you for being head cheerleader, blamed you for taking the spot from her daughter. Faze, mama? <laughs> Darren said, Christ, you really are as dumb as you look. Try again. Look at me, y'all. <laughs> Amaya. Darren said, ding, ding, ding. Somebody give this girl a prize. Amaya put a hit on me, y'all. I mean, I knew she was a bit batty when it came to cheerleading. But this was off the charts crazy. This was Jack Nicholson in The Shining crazy. He said, I called the number she had listed and advised her to take it down before somebody reported it to the police. I mean, what an amateur. Then I figured, hey, I was planning to kill you anyway. Why'd I get paid for it at the same time? I told her to give me cash up front to make sure she was serious about it. Okay, but why would you kill Faye then? He said, your coach told Faye's parents that she was going to make Faye Green co-captain, and her mom told Amaya about it. So Amaya changed her mind and asked me to bump off Faye first. I was going to kill all of you anyway. It didn't matter to me which one I did first. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> I couldn't believe everything I was hearing. It was like I had taken a step off the edge of reason and plummeted into the abyss of an insane mind. Two insane minds, actually. And he said, are we done with the 101 questions? I really want to get started if you don't mind. Wait. How you get Faye along with you? He said, I just offered to give her a ride in my car. It was that easy. The Black Ford. He said, yes, the Black Ford. 
you know, I figured when you saw my car that day when you were locked out your house, that's why you were asking me about it the other day, wasn't it? Thanks for the heads up, by the way. I made sure to get rid of it immediately. It didn't matter anyway. I bought it for only $300. The person was so happy to sell that piece of junk for cash up front, he ain't asked no questions. Okay, you just bought that car just to use it for us? He said, well, duh. I wasn't going to use my normal car that's registered under my name, was I? Okay, but why did Amaya want Gabby dead, too? He said she didn't. I just threw that one in for free. <laughs> Were you really dating her? You just said you hated cheerleaders. Darren said, oh, yeah. Gabby was the worst one of all, wasn't she? The ultimate cheerleader B-word slut. She threw herself at me, you know. She came into my office after school one day, sat in front of my desk, and hitched up her skirt. Okay, please stop. <laughs> She was so desperate for approval all the time. She was so envious of how you were the most popular girl in school and not her. I had so much fun with her before I killed her. I told her how she could improve herself to be more like you. It drove her nuts, but she just kept coming back for more. Okay, you're a monster, bro. He said, is that supposed to hurt my feelings? Okay, but why did you kill Amaya and Jazz too? Darren said Amaya was becoming a nuisance. You can't imagine how satisfying it was to push her off that balcony. Almost as satisfying as it was to play with her daughter afterwards. Okay, I'm sick of talking. I want to play now. Oh my god! Alright y'all, seven years ago. Look at this y'all. Look at them. <laughs> We're too hot to handle. There's no doubt. We're too hot to handle. But we'll knock you out, period. Okay, look at them drop in like it's hot. Okay. Look at Darren. Wow, that's so pretty. Young Darren. Especially L. Okay. L hurt you. That's why you doing this. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> L. L said, like what you see? Not this American Beauty reference. This is crazy. <laughs> I bet you like to touch me. Yeah, L. You're so hot. Look at him, y'all. Put your eyes back in your head, bro. Harry said, hey, man, are you okay? <laughs> L said, so for weeks, we were wondering where this horrid smell was coming from. Sage said, oh, my God, ha, ha. I mean, it smelled like a dead body in there. And then, and then it turned out Neil had left a hunk of cheese in his sock drawer while drunk and forgot about it. Victoria said, I don't want to know the details. There's a boy just standing there staring at us. Is it Darren? <laughs> Victoria said, I think he's staring at you, girl. Do you know him? Not her name being just like me. <laughs> L said, uh, no, I don't think so. Petra said, uh, I think he's coming over. Look at Darren. Hello, L. Look at her. She said, I'm sorry, do I know you? He said, I, uh, I'm Darren. Okay. <laughs> he's so awkward, it's kind of cute. But also kind of creepy. L said, can I help you? <laughs> he said, do you... Would you like to go to the movies with me? She said, I'm sorry, Darren, but I'm already dating somebody. And he's uh standing right behind you. Oh, my God. And you said, who are you? <laughs> Darren said, you're dating this jock. You can do better. And Neil said, what you say? You little piece of garbage. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm not just a jock. I'm also into theater. L said, yeah, I'm dating him, as if it's any of your business. He said, you better get lost before I beat the crap out of you, dickwad. Ooh. Darren said, you should dump this guy, L. L said, what the F? Oh, my God. Neil said, are you okay? She said, oh, my God, what a freak. I totally called it. Okay, look at them, y'all. Neil said, mm, you taste so good. Elle said, come on, my parents won't be home until after 11. Neil said, what the? There's somebody sitting in the tree outside spying on us. Is it Darren? 
Hey, you stop right there. Y'all. Oh, you are. Cr Look at him floating off the tree. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You. That's that creep from the other day. I was say, oh, my God. Get up. I will beat the crap out of you. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at him. <laughs> they don't say no deal, don't. But they say, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I mean, fine. You're lucky L has a soft heart. Now get the F out of here, you creep, before I change my mind. Look at him running home crying. And if I ever see you anywhere near L again, you'll wish you'll never been born. Period. Stand up for your boo. L said, that was such a great movie. Neil said, all right, I'll admit it was better than I expected. Come on, I'll walk you home. She said, and to think you were skeptical about watching a sci-fi murder mystery with androids. Darren said, F and B words, I'll show you. Oh my God. Oh, y'all. <laughs> God. Y'all, he ran them over. He's a psychopath. Darren said, F and B, I showed you, didn't I? Thought you were too good for me. Okay, what was he mumbling about? <laughs> he crazy. Kill you, slut. What's up, y'all? Chapter 27, Darren. Chapter 27? I thought I'd already done this one. Darren said, F and B word. I showed you, didn't I? Thought you were too good for me. Okay, what was he mumbling about? Kill you, slut. Y'all! Unable to move as he started to choke the life out of me? I acted on desperate instinct. Okay, Darren. He said, kill, slut. Darren! Huh? <laughs> I said, I like you. He said, what? <laughs> I said, I like you. I liked you for a long time. Look at him. I said, I always fantasized about you, you know, in class, when you were up there teaching. I always wanted you to bend me over my table. Oh, my God. I mean, if I had known earlier that you wanted me, he said, I knew you were a slut. Oh, my God. I said, I am. Let me show you. Ooh. You tying me up like this? I'm so turned on. And he said, you like it, huh? I said, why don't you untie me and we can have some real fun with my mother watching. It'll be even more exciting. I can see you like that idea. Your excitement is showing. Let's get you out of those pants. Oh my God. He said, I'm gonna give you what you need. Y'all. Yeah, big boy, hurry up. Yeah, this man can't be that stupid. <laughs> He said, you should always wear your cheerleader uniform, slut. Okay, you like it, huh? Oh! Ah! Yeah. Look at him laughing. He said, I locked the door. Where you gonna run to? Okay, I ran to the first... Look at me floating up to the, <laughs> to the attic, y'all. I ran to the first place I thought of. I ran up to the roof. Darren said, oh, the roof, how cute. Yo, James, I know you hear this man breaking glass and stuff next door. He said, where you think you going, little girl? We not done playing yet. Stay back. Oh, my God. He said, I knew you'd be the most fun to play with. I hope you're not thinking of jumping, though. I don't think I'll be able to get it up afterwards if you mess up that face. Although, hmm, I could just cover your face with your skirt. Yeah, that'll work. Oh my God, I looked desperately, but James's window was pitch black. James! I'm a, would James be home? James would be, Jay, I'm gonna shout for James. James! <laughs> my God! Stay away from me! He said, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you much. Actually, I will, but it's for a good cause. Yeah, look at me pushing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, James. It was over. The nightmare was finally over. I couldn't believe it. Y'all. <laughs> All right, one month later. It took nearly a month after Darren Cohen was shot by James for the nightmares to finally stop for good. Okay, look at me, y'all. 
Hello? Okay. I wish they were still here. <laughs> they said, me too. Okay. Y'all, this is sad, man. All my friends is gone, except for me. All my friends is gone. It's crazy. Did my mama forgive me for ever leaving her? Because I'm about to leave that lady. <laughs> May grab my head. You know what I'm doing. Look at my mama working in the coffee shop. I mean, the bakery. <laughs> Mom settled into her new job at the bakery. Seemed pretty happy. She said, good morning, what can I get you? Oh, mama, that might be a new boo. Can I help you? Kevin said, oh, sorry, it's just that. Are you new here? She said, uh, yeah, I just started last week, why? He said, oh, nothing. I've been coming here for 18 years for my breakfast bagel, and I've never seen you here before. Sorry, I like a bacon and egg bagel, please. Mom said, have it here? He said, take away. She said, I'll be right back with your order, sir. Okay, look at him smitten with the kid. I mean, not the kid, with my mama. <laughs> what bacon and egg bagel? Mama, that was pretty quick. Did you heat it up for that bear? She said, will that be all, sir? He said, I'm uh, Kevin. She said, I'm Celine. He said, well, uh, will you be here tomorrow? She said, oh, yeah. He said, that's great. I mean... Bye. <laughs> you forgot your bagel. Right. You forgot your bagel. He said, thank you. Did you pay Kevin? <laughs> Look at him spinning the block for my mama. Kevin said, Celine, would you maybe be interested in having a coffee with me? She said, oh, uh, look at him. Yeah, mama. Mom said, yes. Okay, he look like he got money too, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now it's time to find out how your previous choices have influenced your relationship with James. Okay, James and I were closer than ever, period. And today, I was a girl on a mission. Notice that I'm wearing the cutest, skimpiest thing I own, period. Yep. Already, he was having trouble concentrating on the movie we were watching. He don't stand a chance, right? He said, let's uh watch something else. Not a stalker. <laughs> no, please. He said, no horror movies, I know. Okay, James. <laughs> Maybe let's not watch TV. I got a better idea. Okay, look at us, y'all. That's my man. Finally. Was today gonna be the day we finally did it? Ooh. The stubble on his jaw grazed against my face as he pinned me against the couch and kissed me back roughly. My head was swirling. He smelled so good, a mix of aftershave and soap. But this was it. What, James? He said, Jess, you were almost assaulted and murdered only a month ago. I'm not sure we should be. Don't you need time to process the psychological trauma? I mean, even watching a movie on TV triggers you. Look at me rolling my eyes. <laughs> Listen, I am not psychologically traumatized. I've been waiting for ages. I had enough of this. 28 chapters and I'm still a virgin. Right. <laughs> right, Jess. Period. Hold on. You, right now. Right now, James. Carry me to the bed. Rip my clothes off. Period. The suggestions. Crew, we've been waiting. Oh, you finna do it. Oh, shoot. You finna do it, y'all. I was being... <laughs> Coming up, the bonus chapter. Okay. 